that you can understand how to take it off and this is the video so welcome to back to our youtube channel first flight you see uh, if you can look uh, this is the first flight right now we are on the first floor and uh, the staircase the staircase usually has a flight a landing then another flight so I will go up the staircase then you should follow through this is the first flight uh, when I'm walking up this staircase uh, this is the first flight where I am standing right now so the landing starts from here all the way all this area is the landing up to the end here so uh, the whole area of the landing is the whole area here then you can go up another flight another flight is when you're going up this landing okay so this is the staircase when i get here it's the second floor so the staircase is from here down from here up to the uh, up to the next floor okay uh, there is a point can you come uh, so that they can see there is a point I was showing you that this this is the last step this one is the last step in the second flight this step its trend is on the landing this is already flat all of it but the trend of this step you see every step has a riser and a going or a trend so this trend of the last step is on the landing. So when we are calculating the area of the surface of the landing, it will be, uh, we deduct the step. Because we need to see the area for the surface. So let's go back down there so that we are able to see the area of the surface. Uh, this one, uh -huh, this area that you see bending like this, this is the surface of the flight. You see this here below, this area that you can see painted white, it's the surface of the flight. When you are walking up the second flight, this is the bottom part. You see it's flat. The upper surface, it's made of steps, but here it's flat. This area is called the surface of the landing. The, the surface of the flight. Let us see the surface of that landing. Come down here so that they can see. Here, uh, you can see this flat surface here. This flat surface is the surface of the landing. This, that white part, rectangular part that you can see up there, it's the surface of the landing. Uh, we usually do plastering to the surface and then we do painting to the surface all right so i want you now to see the surface of the first flight we can see them from the landing of the previous floor okay so when you're here you can be able to see the surface of the first flight you see this flat in this place is is sloppy that slope are painted white also now that was the surface of the first flight all right so we have been able to see the surface of the first flight the surface of the landing and the surface of the second flight all right now we want to see how these uh, trends and uh, risers are able to make a step and how can we calculate maybe uh, before we go to that let's 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 just uh, focus on the surface uh-huh when you are finding the area for the framework of the surface you see this is the surface and we want to find the area for the former. How will we calculate the area? We shall take the wind of the. You see this one. This one is the is this uh, flight. So we shall take the wind. The wind we shall start from the end to the end. Then we shall multiply by the the length of the flight. All right. That length is the one that I was showing you. This length is the one that we shall have to calculate using c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared we shall find this length then we shall multiply by the wind the wind is the wind of the landing right then uh, when we come to the, the of the flight 
when you come to the landing this landing how do we calculate the area of the formwork remember we do formwork where there are no walls because formwork is for support how do we calculate the area of the formwork the area of the formwork we shall take the width of the landing then we shall multiply by the total length of the landing all right all right so i want you to see something else uh-huh so uh maybe you can come you see, uh, when we are looking at these steps, the steps of the staircase, these steps of the staircase, uh -huh, let's see, all these steps, we have the steps up to, they are up, up there. Eh? When we are looking at the how to calculate the, uh, the volume of concrete, or uh, let's look at the formwork first. When we are looking at how to calculate the formwork of the flight, that last step there you see that last step that last step we said that the trend is on the landing we want now to see where will the concrete of that last step be supported is it on the flight or is it on the landing and that one you can only be able to see it here when we focus on this one you see uh, here is where we start the slope here is where we start the slope is it visible yes from here is where we start the slope going downwards here we, it's where we, we start the slope this place here is below the step that is on the landing it's not where we start the landing it's not like here it's not like here where we have this shiny thing it is here where, where we have after it's somewhere here you see here where we start the landing the landing will be given the dimensions from there to there all right the landing will be given the dimensions from up outside there to the end here but you need to remember that this area here is usually supported by the slope it's not by the landing the formwork that will support the concrete of this last step is on the slope it's not on the landing when we are calculating the area for the surface of the landing, we shall calculate from where the, the trend of the last step begins up to the end, right? Okay. The another thing that you need to note when you are going up the staircase is these rails. These rails, you can show them from down there, from down there, rail, the rails coming up here. Then, uh, you, these ones are the standards, these main bars that are supporting the staircase. You can see we have one standard down there at the end. Yes, that standard. That one is the, the main things for support. We have the top rail. This one is the top rail. Then this one is another standard. All right. Then we have another standard here for supporting the, the rails as we go up the staircase again. So this is the top rail. Then we have the top rail come even to the second flight. So there's the main bars that usually support the ends of the of the rails of the rails are the standards. Then all these vertical members that are going downwards, they are called the balusters. Alright? The balusters could be landing on a bottom rail here or they can just go to the to the floor. But as long as it's not a main bar, it's not for support, it's called a baluster. Alright. Uh, I wanted also to show you in a flight, in a flight like this one. Maybe you can be able to see even the steps. Yes. Uh, in a flight like this one, we usually have these steps. These steps, and there is another part here. All right? This part, you see these steps are coming up to here. It's just that the finish has been done earlier enough. Some concrete was added. These steps usually come up to the end. So there is this part from here that form a rectangle. This uh, flight is made up of a rectangle and triangles, right? So this rectangular part made of concrete, it's called a waste. This rectangular part where reinforcements are. But what, these steps are only made of concrete. In the steps, we usually do concrete. The, the volume of the concrete in the flight is usually the volume of the concrete in the steps plus the volume of the concrete in the waste. 
So when we are calculating the volume of the concrete, we will take the volume of concrete in each step. Then we shall multiply by the number of steps. Then we shall take the, the total length of the flight. Then we multiply by this width of the staircase. If you hear the width of the flight, it is from here up to the end there. That is the width of the flight. Maybe I can demonstrate very clearly. When we are coming up a flight like this one, this one is the wind of the flight, all right? This is the wind of the flight. The length of the flight is this length, all right? This is the length of the flight, but this is the wind of the flight. So if we want the, the volume of the concrete, we shall separate the triangles from the rectangles. Then, uh, when we are doing concreting, we need formwork. Not only below there, uh -huh, not only below where we have the suffix, but even at the ends. These ends are called the ends of the trigger. These ends where concrete can pour. So if you're here, uh -huh, if you're here, I want to focus on this staircase. Eh? I want you to show them the, the triggers. It is this part, this part, vertical part. This paint and gray, these ones are the stringers. These ones are the stringers. So we should support the formwork with the, the concrete using formwork. Here are the stringers and also on the first flight on the stringers. Okay? So we usually do formwork here, below here, below is the sofits, here is the stringers, angels of the stringers. Then uh, for the landing, okay? For the landing. Maybe you can just come and use this landing which is here. When we are doing formwork for the landing, we usually support, first of all, we have to cover here so that concrete doesn't pour, okay? Then another place we need to, to support is here, the ends of this landing here. Then also here, all right? Yes, so we shall do formwork at the edges of the landing. So the edges of the landing is this long part here at the side, then we shall do it here. For the edges of the trigger, it's this trigger going down there, and also this trigger here. All right? Yes. So uh, the next part is the reinforcement. We usually know that every staircase has reinforcement. These reinforcements are running like this. They are running down the flight, and there are some that are coming across. The reinforcement that is running this way should have a bend so that they can come into the slab for the next floor. It should have a bend. Even if it was sloping, it should have a bend coming inside there. Then uh, it should also have a bend coming into the slab of the, of the landing. All right? Then in the landing, we have two sets of reinforcements. Some will be running across, some will be running to form a mesh. But every reinforcement bar, as long as it's not running down the, the flight, it should have a U bend. Okay? Alright, that one we shall look for a site where they are doing the reinforcements so that you can be able to see clearly. But uh, you should note that uh, reinforcement bars are running down the flight, others are crossing the flight, then this one on the landing, some are running and others are crossing. But the ones at the flight should always uh, come into the landing so that they can be tied together. Because the staircase, as you can see, even in this one, it's only supported by the columns and also the slabs of the of the two uh, two floors. So I hope that is clear. All right. So uh, in case you have any questions, can you write them in the description box so that you can be able to uh, answer them and. Remember to subscribe for those who haven't subscribed so that you can continue to bring you more content. If you have any question about anything, please ask.